Hello, and thank you for joining me. This video is going to be a little different from something uh, that I usually do. I usually do casts of games, but this time I want to discuss uh, the map itself, Langriskaya, and go over some of the reasons that I think it favors the Axis. And this is in response to a thread created on the forums by uh, Relic. They want to see videos uh, discussing uh, how maps can be tweaked to bring them more in line with a more balanced and consistent multiplayer experience. So if we take a look at Langerskaya, the first thing that really jumps out, at least in my opinion, is the placement of the victory points. As you can see, one is placed extremely close to the south base and another over here is placed extremely close to the north base and for that reason it is almost impossible to take and hold all three for any uh, significant amount of time in an even game. A uh, direct result of this is the Axis will be able to survive and hold out against any allied assaults for a very long time. It's highly unusual for the allies to successfully push the Axis all the way back into their base to the point that they can't even hold this victory point right here. So that is uh, the primary concern, but that's not the only thing. If we also take a look at the layout of the map, we see this big central hedge here in the middle extending all the way down uh, across this central road. And what that basically does is it splits the map into these two halves, these two very distinct halves, uh, the right side typically held by the north base and the left side typically held by the south base. So if we take a look at the possible avenues of approach, the allies can come through up here in the northern area. They can come through, or not the allies, but the south player, come through up here in the northern area. They can come through uh, in these in this sort of area. They, there's a few avenues of approach, but uh, the, this approach is almost purely red cover, making it extremely unsafe to try and cross through here. And of course, we have this avenue right here, also red cover, and we finally have this approach down here, which does not require crossing a road. So this is the safest and most roundabout way. So we have a total of one, two, three, four different areas where you can cross the center of the map. And what that does is it allows a very small number of machine guns to pretty much shut down any attempt by infantry to cross into one half of the map. Which means that uh, any faction with access to machine guns quite early will be able to prevent infantry pushes, and that does mean that the Wehrmacht in particular are very good at holding one side, and that of course goes for both sides of the map. It's quite difficult for anything to push through towards the south, but you will note that coming from the north down to the south does not require crossing a road once you have gone past your half of the vision blockers. Although in this general area, it is pretty much always unsafe to cross here for both sides. Less so for an assault to come through these hedges, but it is a very small opening, so that does mean it's easy to defend. It really doesn't matter that much which side uh, is pushing. It's going to be difficult to cross, pretty much no matter what, if the opponent has invested in machine guns at all, without some sort of very long roundabout flank and if it doesn't succeed, then that's just more time that you've lost. So, that is another factor to consider that I think gives the Axis a bit of an advantage. And finally, if we just look at the general layout of the map, we will see that it generally favors very long-range engagements because there are very few vision blockers scattered across large sweeping open fields and rolling hills and what cover does exist is mostly yellow cover with very few uh, bits of green cover sort of sprinkled in and they're very small and will usually not offer that much cover to a full squad. There are no long stone walls so nothing like that and it does mean that a lot of engagements will take place at long range and in yellow cover which gives grenadiers a distinct advantage uh, over most allied infantry and it also helps give Hulk's Grenadiers a small edge. Snipers, of course, for the same reasons, will perform well because there are not very many vision blockers. 
But because the Austere Sniper is generally un underperforming, that's actually not nearly as much of a concern as Light Machine Gun Upgraded Grenadiers. You have a use for these scum? And of course, Soviet snipers equally benefit the from the long-range nature of these engagements. So we those are the reasons in the early to mid-game nice why the Axis sector. will generally be able to succeed. Then, if we take a look at the mid to late game, for the exact same reasons, it's very difficult for Allied armor to push through to the Axis uh, territory. There will be very few angles of approach. There's only one central road, which is quite easy to mine uh, in relative safety up here. And you can set up just one or two packs, even, if you're feeling particularly... Uh, careful and block the allied armor's advances and, in just such a way. And if you're playing as Ober Commando West, if you set up a fortified position here on a battle group headquarters around or behind these buildings, or similarly over here around or behind these buildings or around or behind this hedge, it can become virtually impossible for an allied assault to succeed on such a fortified position, whether in the early or mid or late game. And of course, that does allow the Axis to hold out for their heavy armor, and once uh, the Axis has access to Tigers and things like that, it will become virtually impossible for the Allies to come back and win the game, for reasons that are really not, don't need to be discussed in this video, as I think that the late game supremacy of the Axis is well known and discussed. So for those reasons, I think that Langerskaya could use a few tweaks, and I'll spend the rest of this video discussing how it could be tweaked uh, to make it a little bit less stratified in favor of the Axis. First and foremost, the placement of the victory points needs to be such that it's not so difficult to take all three. For example, I might suggest moving this victory point all the way into the far corner, and likewise moving this victory point all the way into this far corner. The placement of the munitions is quite good. It's actually uh, not that hard for the Allies to take control of both munitions points, at least briefly, in the early game, although it can be difficult because of their placement on the other side of this hedge. The hedge itself uh, does cause problems of its own because it makes setting up a flank all the way around the top very difficult. It requires a lot of infantry movement. I think just generally more gaps in the hedge, such as were introduced in a previous patch right here, would help uh, promote ebb and flow in the early stages of the game. Similar changes have been made on Kolodny Ferma in various areas that infantry had to take very roundabout routes in order to set up flanks. Ready for your orders. We are in contact! Furthermore, the placement of the fuel, because of how it lies on such far distant areas uh, on either side of the hedge, can make this fuel almost impossible to take by the south base, and it can make this fuel difficult but not impossible to take by the north base. So that's actually a slight imbalance in the way the bases are laid out in that it's easier for the south base to take this or sorry, it is easier for the north base to take this than it is for the south base to take control of this. And I think that that could be remedied by modifying the fuel placement just slightly. I actually think it might be better to move strategic points to the corners here where the fuels are located and change the fuels to be located in spots closer but still on opposite sides of the hedge. For example, the fuel could be moved back to here and this fuel could be moved to right here. Doing this means that while the south base has to cross the road in order to get to the fuel, it's still closer to their base. And at the same time, this north base has to cross the road in order to make it to the fuel, but it's closer to their base. So it's a bit of a compromise, making the fuel easier to get to, even though it's not on your side of the hedge, and it will promote combat in the early game to break out on both sides of the hedge, not creating such a stratified left half, right half feeling on the map. If I had to tweak anything else, I might add a little bit more green cover and shot blockers 
possibly replacing some of the fences on the map with stone walls. And also possibly adding slightly more vision blockers, but not any that would cause infantry mobility to be inhibited. That's pretty much all I have to say as far as balance on this map goes, and uh, if you agree, feel free to post in the comments uh, your opinions on Langerskaya, and if not, feel free to post those comments as well, and hopefully uh, this video will be able to contribute to the discussion, to the discussion on how uh, the maps in the current auto match rotation can be brought into line with balanced expectations, and I hope you enjoy the video. Thank you very much for watching.